Magic Trios 3, Mom is in the Morning. Chapter 9, Follow the Leader. It was pitch dark. What happened? asked Annie. I don't know. Something weird, said Jack. We have to get out of here fast. Push against the door. Good idea, said Annie in a small voice. They felt their way through the darkness to the top of the stairs. Don't worry, everything's going to be okay, said Jack. He was trying to stay calm. Of course, said Annie. They leaned against the wooden door and pushed. It wouldn't budge. They pushed harder. No use. Jack took a deep breath. It was getting harder to breathe and harder to stay calm. What can we do? asked Annie. Just, just rest a moment, said Jack, panting. His heart was pounding as he tried to see through the darkness. Maybe we should start down the hall, he said. Maybe we'll eventually come to, to an exit. He wasn't sure about that, but they had no choice. Come on, he said. Feel the wall. Jack felt the stone wall as he climbed slowly down the stairs. Annie followed. Jack started down the dark hallway. It was impossible to see anything. But he kept going, taking one step at a time. Moving his hands along the wall, he went around a corner. He went around ara another corner. He came to some stairs. He went up. There was a door. He pushed against it. And he pushed too. This door wouldn't budge either. Was this the same door they had started at? It was no use. They were trapped. Annie took his hand in the dark. She squeezed it. They stood together at the top of the stairs, listening to the silence. Meow! Oh, man, Jake whispered. He's back, said Annie. Meow! Follow him, cried Jack. He's going away from us. They started down the dark hallway, following the cat's meow. Hands against the wall, Jack and Annie stumbled through the darkness. Meow! They followed the sound, all the way through the winding hallway. Down, down, down. Around one corner, then another, then and another. Finally, they saw a light at the end of the tunnel. They rushed to, rushed forward out into the bright sunlight. Yay! Annie shouted. But Jack was thinking. Annie, he said. How did he get out of the false passage? The cat, said Annie. But how could the cat do it? Asked Jack. Magic, said Annie. Jack frowned. But look, said Annie. She pointed. The cat was bounding away over the sand. Thank you, called Annie. Thanks, Jack shouted at the cat. His black tail waved. Then he disappeared into, in the shimmering waves of heat. Jack looked toward the palm trees. At the, at the top of one sat the tree house, like a bird's nest. Time to go home, Jack said. He and Annie set off for the palm trees. It was a long, hot walk back. At last, Annie grabbed onto the rope ladder, then Jack. Once they were inside the treehouse, Jack reached for the book about Pennsylvania. Just then, he heard a rumbling sound, the same sound they had heard in the pyramid. Look, Annie said, pointing out the window. Jack looked. A boat was beside the pyramid. It was gliding over the sand. Like a boat sailing over the sea, 
Then it faded away into the distance. Was it just a mirage? Or was the ghost queen finally on her way to the next life? Oh, Jack, whispered Annie. Jack opened the Pennsylvania book. He pointed to the picture of Rock Creek. I wish we could go home, he said. The wind began to blow. The leaves began to shake. The wind blew harder. It whistled louder. The treehouse started to spin. It spun faster and faster. Then everything was still, absolutely silent.